Our position during the transit is indicated by the red square. Here you see we are about to enter the canal from the Pacific side. In 1888, De Lesseps' company went bust. By then, 22,000 French lives had been lost and the French government was forced to resign. There is a tidal variation of 24 feet on the Pacific side of the locks, so the Miraflores gates are the tallest of the three sets of locks. All the locks are 110 feet wide. The floors of the locks have holes in them to let water in and out when the valves are opened. Mira Flores lock raises the ship in two stages and is one mile long. The Nordam's passage through Mira Flores lock took just under one hour. The lock system works by a ship entering the first chamber, the gates closing behind it. The large culverts are then open and water runs from one chamber to the other through gravity. When the levels have equalised, the gates in front are open and the ship moves forward. The French effort was probably doomed from the start. They didn't understand that the majority of their losses were due to yellow fever and malaria and when they did realize this they thought that those diseases were borne by crawling bugs and so put pans of water round the legs of the beds in the hospital to stop the bugs crawling up. In fact they were merely creating the perfect breeding ground for more mosquitoes. These electric locomotives or mules keep the ships centred in the locks with the steel cables, but they don't pull the ship in any way. It moves forward under its own power. The locks are all 110 feet wide. The Nordam is 106 feet wide and is known as a Panamax vessel. The widest ships to go through the canal are two US battleships at just under 108 feet 4 inches. As a safety precaution there are duplicate gates throughout 
in case of mechanical failure or ramming by a ship. As we exit the Miraflores locks we enter the man-made Miraflores lake which is a mile and a half long and links Miraflores lock to Pedro Miguel locks. The Americans were able to succeed where the French had failed, largely because they succeeded in clearing up one of the most disease-ridden places in the world. Malaria and yellow fever were the main killers. A Cuban doctor called Carlos Finley first made the association between mosquitoes and malaria, and William Crawford Gorgas devised and implemented the plan to rid the canal. Of mosquitoes. The cut is a man-made valley through the continental divide of Panama and has a bottom width of 300 feet and is a third of a mile wide at the top. 